Hello and welcome to this midweek reflection from the Mance with me, Ian, minister in Bothwell Parish Church. Whether you join us from near or far, may you know the peace and the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christmas is here. In our house, we have the Christmas tree up already and Christmas decorations. The children open their Advent calendars for the first time today. And as I've said many times in church, we've already eaten our fair share of mince pies. But we all know the Christmas story, don't we? Those famous words from Luke which say, While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The inn, of course, is the focus point of our nativity shows which the children put on up and down the country. A stable, the innkeeper who doesn't let them have a place to stay but gives them instead a stable. The innkeeper is never named. I wonder why. I wonder if he at first closed his doors like everyone else. I wonder if his wife encouraged him to make a plan. I wonder. The interesting thing though about the word used and translated by us as in can also mean a guest room. A place where family would stay. A place where family would be invited. So it is possible that Joseph and Mary are rejected by their own family. That right at the beginning of Jesus' life, he was rejected by his own. I wonder. Does it matter, though, Whether he was born in a stable because there was no place in the inn or because his family rejected him? I don't think so. What's important is that someone did offer them a place. That someone did open their hearts. That someone listened and someone saw. So as we journey through Advent together, with our family and our friends, with work colleagues and with strangers. May we too see, may we too open our hearts and may we too make a plan. Let us pray. God of Advent, as the world begins to sing joyful carols, as the world prepares for your coming, as Christmas trees are decorated, as churches are transformed, as high streets are lit up, as our world is covered in tinsel, may we see you in our world. May we see the need in our communities. May we remember those for whom this Christmas will not be easy as they mourn the loss of loved ones, as they struggle to afford to pay for toys for their children, as they struggle to afford to pay for a Christmas meal. Lord, may we too open our hearts like the innkeeper welcoming in the stranger, helping our neighbour. Lord God, in a world brimming with excitement, help us to make your kingdom come here on earth as we do not our will but yours. So hear us now as we say together those words which unite us across borders, age, gender and languages, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever. Whoa.